Howdy, everybody. This is editing fatigue. I'm just chiming in to say that I also, I didn't record an outro for the last video and I didn't record an intro for this one. Um, so that's why I'm here. Also, another thing I wanted to say as I was editing, I don't know why. I guess I had my microphone too close to my keyboard, so it sounds like a rave is going on all the time from my keyboard. Um, I tried to edit it out the best of my ability without butchering it, um, but it's still pretty bad. So I ask for your mercy. I think it's probably going to be this episode and the next episode is like that because I recorded them both simultaneously. Um, so I'm sorry, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> So red, blue, yellow, green. Huh. Handle with care. Shipment is highly fragile. Do not drop. A Bible you had. Is there anything back here? Secrets? Is there any lore? Oh, do they randomize? Oh, they might randomize. Cause there was one here and I remember last time I came through- Oh, no. It didn't randomize. I'm just blind, I think. Okay, where is that? Is that? It's just around here, right? Oh, I'm just blind. So I just need one more. One more. And an orange VHS tape. 20 minutes later. Wait, one, two, three, four. I think I have the whole. Oh, maybe I did miss the orange VHS tape. No, there's no way. Oh. I'm oh so smart. <laughs> oh my god. I was sitting here like trying to. Where is the orange VHS tape? Did it just get me another hand? <laughs> That's so- uh, do you think this is based off of like the sticky hands that you used to be able to throw on the walls when you were a kid? I really don't know- I really want to find that orange VHS tape because I don't want to miss stuff, but... Maybe I'll come back and do that later. I'm just gonna play the game for right now. I'm just gonna enjoy it. Enjoy it while I can. Okay. Alrighty. Ooh, fancy. Do not enter. Oh. Grab to complete the circuit. What am I grabbing? Oh, look at that. See, 
I'm smart. Did I miss something in that room? I really hope I didn't miss something in that room. I didn't really look all that well. Man, I love this darkness. This is just... Oh, don't, don't give me... Oh, God. Oh, God. Poppy Playtime fucking pops off, dude. Like, their music is really good. Make a friend. Oh, that's cute. Uh, I don't like the fact that- Oh. Well, I was gonna say, I don't like the fact that it's broken. I didn't know you could actually pull on those. Make a friend, 1960. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He met the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Yet, of all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Make a friend needs power. Okay. So, I... I showed up. Oh, wait, wait, let's... Let's talk about the story of this for a second. So I showed up because I got a random email or a random thing in the mail saying that everyone's still here and now I'm going through everything and I'm like making friends. <laughs> making friends. That's funny. Nobody leaves without a toy. So they're like, let's walk you down this totally inconspicuous metal stair. Oh, it's rust. I was like... Oh no, okay, so there's another- How many fucking VHS tapes are there in this? It's like literally every level. You're like, this is- so, is this how they got in here or did they come in through that door and then they- I don't know. Maybe everyone took the same route I took. <laughs> Gotcha. I gotcha. It was a red herring. Wait. Okay, I see. 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 Bam. the other hand. Bam! Now. Why? It will 
let me. Okay, so I was right. It's a red. Damn it! It was a red herring. Because you can walk around. You just have to hook them. Okay, boom. So now we're gonna come over here, but we're not gonna wrap. Not going to wrap you. Oh, it gets stuck on the frickin'. Boom. Okay. No. Um... Yes! Boom! Look at that. See? Told you. It was a red herring. I don't know if that's how you were actually supposed to do that, um, but I don't think they meant for you to like jump up on here and do parkour. <laughs> but I did! So. Fine! God, that scared me. Oh man. If nothing was alive in this complex, it sure is now. my friend oh look at my friend oh marvelous This is totally not concerning. Come here, my friend! Come here! I want you. Can I turn it off? Can I make more? This is only mildly terrifying. Oh, this is like, uh, this is Huggy Wuggy, but pink. Stairway to hell. <laughs> Staff only, do not enter. Nope, 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 Oh my god. Where am I gonna start off? Oh, please don't start me off. Oh god. How much do I really want to do this? Where did I go? Any uh, I went this way. Okay. He's actually pretty cool looking. Oh, he even ducks for the doors and stuff like that. I like how he's just like casually 
sauntering. Dude, you're pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh. You know, he's actually pretty cool looking. Okay. Let's go ahead, head this way. Okay. Okay. Don't. No. Deeper. I think that's what that said. I hate this. I really 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 hate this. I really, 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 really. Oh, hey, dude. Did I go the wrong way? I mean, because I think you have to keep following, like, the don't and the no and the don't go here. He looks pretty cool in the vents, though. They put some really good effort into some of these fucking animations. These are really good. It's like right on my ass. Do not enter. Where am I? So Turn back. Stop. No. been looking for that was a really good chase scene that was a really good chase scene that was really good oh that was so good you can even see where he banged his is that blood wait that's not from him is it so many people were writing don't and turn back and stuff like that and there was paint on that box which means people have done this before that's gotta be blood from all the previous people that have come here, right? So what does that mean? Are they trying to like... Oh, yeah, that's blood. So, okay, but let's talk about that. What, what does that mean necessarily? Does that mean that more than just me have received that letter? And if so, does that mean that they're actively trying to get rid of the Poppy Playtime employees. That's interesting! So so that means that they must have... They're, they're trying to get rid of the employees. They're just trying to completely wipe out, like, all who know about what was going on here. Because toys don't just come to life like that. There's gotta be, like, a secret or something behind it. Huh. Okay, well, it looks like we're pretty close. Whoever designed these catwalks really needs to get fired. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> like, look at these catwalks. But that's the poppy from the beginning that we saw, and I think that's what we're trying to get to, if I remember correctly. So, well, okay. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I, I think I'm going to end it here, and we'll pick up in the next one. See where that takes us. Yeah. This is this is really good so far. This is really interesting. I, I, I never, like I said, I think in the beginning, I never really got into Poppy. But yeah, I, I never really got into it. I, I know it got really popular for a while. And the main reason I'm actually playing is because Chapter 3 came out not too long ago. And I was like, man, you know, this, this has gotten enough of a following that there's now three chapters to the game. Like, I should probably play it. So, but yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. I'm going to go ahead and log off and I will see you in the next one. This is Silver Fatigue, logging out.